What's up YouTube? This is Gorski from Gorski TV and today I'm going to be showing you how to burn copyrighted CDs on the Windows operating system with free programs that you can download from the internet. Now the first program you're going to need is called ISO Buster and the second program is called Infra Recorder. Google ISO Buster and Infra Recorder to find download links where you can download them from. Assuming that you have your CD in your CD drive, the next step of the process is going to be to open up ISO Buster. Yes. Now, automatically, ISO Buster detected all of the tracks that were in my CD. And so what you do here is you can either click on individual tracks that you want to copy into a folder and to be extracted to have the copyright protection removed from them by clicking on them as you're holding the control key. Or you can highlight all of the tracks which I'm going to do and then in order to start the extracting process you right click on your mouse and then click on extract objects at this point it will prompt you to select a destination folder for all of your tracks I have a folder here that I created on my desktop for that reason which I'm going to click on and press OK and now the extraction process begins this can take some time the extraction process is now winding down to a close. Everything has worked out well. And my 20 tracks, which were extracted from their copyright protection, are in the folder that I selected for them. Now ISO Buster can be closed. File exit. And the next step in the process is to open Infra Recorder. And what you do here is click on Audio Disk. In Infra Recorder, the tracks that I had extracted to the selected folder in the desktop have automatically shown up. And what needs to be done in this stage of the process? is one of these plus icons need to be clicked depending on how many of these you want to end up burning onto your disk. I want to burn all of them and so I click the plus icon on the right hand side and it will automatically bring all of them down to the lower portion of this menu which indicates the tracks that I want to use for burning purposes. Now I'm going to put the CD that I'm going to use to burn these tracks on into my computer. To finalize this process all that needs to be done is this icon right here which says burn the current compilations to a physical compact disk needs to be clicked. And none of these settings need to be changed for what I'm doing so I will click OK. And the burning compilation process has begun. The burning compilation process is now winding down to a close. And it says operation complete. The disk was successfully closed. And the data was successfully written to the disk. Okay. Now I can close this. Project has been modified. Do you want to save changes? No, I don't need to save any changes. And I can check to see if my data was properly written to my disk. Click on computer. And I'll right click on my CD drive. And what you want to see here is something like play, as you can see in this menu right here, because that is how it would appear if you had a regular CD in your drive. 
If you don't see that, then something may have gone wrong. Thank you for watching. This has been a tutorial by Gorski TV. Subscribe to my channel.